Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's currently a Saturday morning and it is flat calm guys. Uh, we've had big high pressures recently for the past two, three, four days, maybe even longer. And the sea is just flat, flat as a pancake. So I'm going out on the boat today, two to three mile an hour winds, and we're heading up to the Sandbank Round site. We're heading up to Bank de Nord, and we're gonna be heading for some turbot and some brills. Now, I'm hoping the elusive flatfish are gonna play. I've got no bait, uh, so we're gonna have to go up there, feather up some sand eels, some mackerel, hopefully, and then start getting them down, and hopefully we can get a few of these elusive flatfish, guys. So I hope you stay with us. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell to get all the latest notifications. That way you'll never miss one of my videos. And let's head up there, guys. Let's waste no time. Let's go get these turbot. Let's go. Guys, after that fabulous crossing, we've arrived. And uh, I managed to feather up one sand deal. So what I've done is I've just sliced both fillets off and I've put a fillet on each hook. So that's what I've done. Uh, just till we get a few more bits of bait and then uh, hopefully we can uh, put some full sand deals on flathead. But till then, we we'll just do it like this and hopefully we can get a few turbos. We've got Mr. Diner up with us. He's on his way up. He's just steaming up. Come join us. And there, uh, yeah. Hopefully we get one of these flatfish. Let's get these turbot and brill. So guys, been feathering up some sand eels here. We've got a few sand eels. I'm going to be putting them on the hook. We're currently drifting at approximately 1.8 knots. So we don't really want to be going any faster than that because otherwise we ain't going to be able to keep to the bottom. So... I'm just coming over the head now. Hopefully we get a few turbot or a few brill. If not, we're going to do some sort of fishing. It's still early for the turbot and brill. So if we don't, we don't get anything. At the end of the day, it's beautiful being out here. It's just flat calm, absolutely flat calm. But the bank is starting to make now. The overfalls are starting. So as we go over them, hopefully we hook into something, guys. Anyway, I'll give you a run through of the baits and the setups a little bit later on. Let's just try and catch one of these turbot. The rods are out. I'm on the turbot. Just a quick run through of the bait as well, guys. This is what I'm using, just sand eels, and then what I've done, I've left the backbone in that one. I'm gonna leave the backbone in that one. But this one, I've taken the backbone out, and then all I do, that's it. Hook it straight through the top of the head, and then that'll bounce along the bottom, and hopefully entice a turbot. That's what we want. There we go. All right, I'll show you the bank as well, look. There we are, 110 foot, we're coming up over another little head. That's the bank there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it due to the uh, sunlight. It's very hard. Yeah. All right, let's get these flatties. Well, guys, fish on. I've got a lot of uh, rain on the camera here. I think it's a turbot. Oh, I love it. It's a flatty. And we got him. I couldn't get the landing net out. You beauty. 
Little turbot guys, I really apologise for all the water on the lens, but it's raining. Fantastic. Beautiful little turbot, that probably about three pound. Fantastic. I'm going to wipe the lens. Sorry about that, I really am. I'm going to wipe the lens. Sorry you didn't get the fight. We'll give you a better show of this fish. It's drizzling everywhere. So sorry about that, guys. You beauty, look at the mouth on it. Guys, I've literally just dropped this down. I've got loads of weight on this. I'm sorry about the lens, I haven't even cleaned it yet. What is on this? I've literally only just dropped this down. That's a giant piece of weed. I was gonna say, there's no way I could have had a turbot already. There you go. Giant bit of weed. No wonder it felt like a turbot. Anyway, let's clean this lens and show you that turbot, guys. Okay, guys, all the lens is all clean now. We're just coming off over the overfall, so I thought I'd quickly show you it. Beautiful turbot. Here we go, guys. Fish on. What the? Fish on. I might have just been caught in a bit of... Well, I don't know what that was. I thought that was definitely a fish. Unless it just got caught in the bank. I don't know, we'll have to... Do you see that, guys? I was showing you that turbot and that just started screaming off. We'll have to check that after, check the bait and stuff. But I want to leave it out there for now. I don't want to bring it in in case it just got hooked down and we still got the bait down because we're just coming over the head. But yeah, fantastic little turbot. Probably about three and a half pound. Fantastic. Beautiful nobbles on the top. Little bits of cartilage. Beautiful, beautiful uh, camouflage. Lovely turbot. Big mouth. That's what we want. But we want some bigger ones. Let's get them. You beauty. Well guys, it's happened again. Same rod. I've just dropped it down. I've got weight on it already. I don't know what it is, it's gotta be seaweed. I just went to put the drag on, it started taking line. It's gotta be seaweed. It's dead weight. It's seaweed again. Got another bit of seaweed. What the hell is going on? Me thinking I've got a fish. All it is is seaweed. Anyway, we're up for another drift. We haven't hit the bank yet. We're just about to hit it. Hopefully this rod screams off and we get another turbot. Guys, what a beautiful day. Both rods out. Mr. Diner's over there. He's floating for turbot. There's our turbot down there. Beautiful. There's the overfalls, guys. So this is the main head of the bank. This is where the shallowest part of the bank is. And this is why these overfalls happen. Because obviously the waves get pushed up over the sand, which then cause these overfalls. But we're in turbot country now. This is where you're going to get them as you come over the overfalls. So. Beautiful, look at that fine ship coming through the overfalls there. Beautiful. Right. Come on the rod, we want one of them to scream off. So guys, we're up for our last drift now. I just want to give you a run through of the rod and the reel and the setup that I'm using. The rods that I use are Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2s. Fantastic rods and they're a 20 to 30 pound class. They're a bit big, I know. But I like using them when I'm pulling in taupe and turbot and rays and stuff like that. And then on the rear end, we've got the Pen Squall 2. 
the 20 level wind, fantastic reel. That's about the size that you want. It's perfect for on the boat, in my eyes. That's the best reel you can get. And then, up at the top here, we have an eight inch boom to an eight ounce weight. Then we've got a 250 pound break and strain swivel to a six foot trace, leading down to a 6-0 hook, where I just have a flappered sand eel on the ends, guys. So uh, I'm gonna get this out. This is gonna be our last drift, and hopefully we can get a turbot. If not, we're gonna head home and maybe hit a few bream on the way in. Such a pretty fish turbot, guys. Big mouths on them. You ain't gotta worry about your hook sizes. Size 10 o would be absolutely fine. Beautiful, beautiful looking fish. Beautiful white underneath. Fantastic. It's a lovely fish, about three, four pound that. As I said, look how flat it is, guys. The rods are out. It's just flat calm. It is just flat calm. Right, we're gonna be starting making our way back over there soon and heading back home another eight miles and we'll go on to the breeding grounds. So everyone, that's all the rods packed up. Next stop, back to Guernsey and hit those breeding grounds. Let's go. Ready to head in, lover? Let's see if we can go get some Brimo Wemos. So guys, I've arrived at the bream grounds. Now all I'm gonna do is keep my sabikis on. I wouldn't normally use these feathers. And all I've got is bits of sand eel on. I'm hoping, just hoping, there might be a couple of bream there that wanna play ball. Nice to have a little turbo werbo up there. I'm happy with that. It's a nice little turbot that, nice little plate sized turbot. It's just nice to go up there and actually catch one. Like I say, it's not really season for him yet. Just hope that there's a few bream. If not, I might even go and pull my crab pot. One of them. You hear the seagulls squawking. Well guys, unfortunately no bream. Mr. Diner's also tried. Been a thoroughly enjoyable day out with him on the turbot grounds. But now I'm gonna go and pull a crab pot and see if we can find that one that I didn't pull the other night. Right, got a load of rocks next to us. The winch ain't working. Nine foot. I just want to get out of these rocks. I didn't pull this crab pot yesterday. I just want to make sure we got them all here. Oh, the rubbish. Just lots of velvet. Velvet. Oh. Just velvets and brown crabs.
nothing. Nothing in them. Okay, this will be our last crab pot. I just like pulling crab pots just because you don't know what's going to be in them. They haven't been out long, so it only takes a minute for a lobster to walk in, though. It's a small bell, but... Well guys, unfortunately not a lot in the pot. Let's start making our way home. Well everyone, we're back into port now. Fine little trip going out for the turbot and the brill. We only managed one little turbot, about three and a half pound. So not the best, but it ain't the worst. At least we managed to get one. I've been up there a few times where I haven't had any, so it's fantastic just to get one. They got massive mouths, these turbot. 6080, 10 hooks, you name it, you'll catch them. So if you're new to the channel or you like the channel, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. It's the Turbo King. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.